Hello everybody, Alex from Promising Trader here. I hope you're doing great. So I resume from where I left yesterday with another Bitcoin update for May the 30th, 2019. I am still convinced that we are not done with uh, Bitcoin being bullish. Uh, despite we see that, uh, or well, MACD is not showing it as if it was going to be bullish. Even volume is not particularly good, though I still see RSI in the oversold, oh, sorry, overbought um, area. And surprisingly, if we move between time ranges, meaning that I was looking for daily candles. If I go on 12 hours, that means that one candle that we see on the daily, like for instance this one, or let's say this one, is made out of two candles in this view, okay? Because it's every 12 hours we have a candle, every day we have a candle, every 10 hours we have a candle. But let's focus on the, for instance, on the 12 hours. On the 12 hours we see Bitcoin is uh, it's just trending up. Look, look on RSI, I, I really love RSI. Bitcoin is trending up again, okay? And here, sorry, I need to click. And let me also change color. I'm sorry if I got notifications from uh, my phone. Um, here we can see Bitcoin was on RSI was trending up and eventually in fact in this very moment it trended it was it broke it broke the resistance and it went here now to me it looks like it's doing exactly the same from this point on you see meaning that we have here another resistance we are going to break soon you see this triangle that is forming here let me see if I got a tri triangle shape that is good in this case. I think we have it. I just don't remember how to use it. Because I don't use often triangles. Yeah. Yeah. You see? Well, it's not very clear, but let me let me see if I can change its options here. Yeah, I can indeed. Oh, let me go for a color that is nice um i probably should tell that i want to feel uh, da, 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 background boom well, it's a horrible color though let me just go for uh, yellow should do it's just the opacity probably that is not enough okay you see this this is a triangle so the same thing that i said yesterday the sellers are trying to push it down but the buyers are strong and this is rsi i know it's not here in the candlesticks there is a huge difference between the two i'm going to i'm, I'm actually working on a glossary and i'm also going to explain exactly how every of these indicators work unfortunately guys and girls i have no time to do that all day it requires lots of time so be patient we must but i will do and so it's looking like it wants to break up again. So I'm still very, I didn't change my mind on Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I don't think it's going to drop yet. If we check on a 10 hours, we can confirm, look, <laughs> it's just going up. It's on, um, it's probably not going to happen right now. It may happen by the end of the month or the first, between the end of the month and June, so a couple of days more. But I don't know when things happen, I really don't know. I just know that they are about to happen if I get them right, otherwise I don't know it. <laughs> but if we check on the eight hours, you see, still showing, it's, it's, look, in the eight hours, I didn't notice in the 10 hours as well, it was, yeah, even in the 10 hours, but in the, in the eight hours is more evident. In the eight hours, we have, Bitcoin bouncing here, okay, and still not doing much. This to me is a, a clear signal disregarding MACD 
and uh, also the volume is, is decent here so there's still activity there's still buying activity on, on bitcoin in my opinion it's not dropping yet it will drop maybe this one is the last time that we'll see it going up and then it will go down for well not don't i wouldn't expect too much but it will go down at the entry as i said yesterday so i'm still exactly at the same opinion that i had yesterday maybe maybe it won't go as high as i thought it was going to go let me just do one thing that i don't like doing very much but yeah okay i changed the proportions so if we check here it's becoming a little more difficult but yeah if we check here looking for potential resistance and support areas we see here because here bitcoin went up but didn't manage to go any further high and when it did it found a little bit of resistance here so and look also is exactly this point here you see where it went here so i would tend to say we can safely state that this area here it's an area of support and resistance and we have volume confirming it as well look at here for instance we had a very high volume so yeah i would place my bet here probably and that was closer to what i was saying yesterday bitcoin maybe not even go higher than the previous high let me re restore the zoom here okay so you got some lag because i've got too many tabs open on my computer that's why it's so slow and i've got the fan sorry so yesterday i was saying probably it's going up but it's not probably going to be much higher than this this could be a little bit more it could go a little higher than this now I, I probably possibly do or go all the way to the other support and resistance line which is way way oh, don't let me do this because i don't want to zoom out too much all the time so to do okay or here now or somewhere between these two I'm sure it will reach this place this point here so I'm sure it will go to 9,000 and more okay if it goes and it breaks this one then we'll definitely have the potential to go to nearly 10,000 okay maybe we will flirt with the 10,000 as well because it's not irrealistic if we go up to here so Bitcoin I think it's about to do another little bull run and uh, we have a confirmation if it breaks this line we have a confirmation that it's probably going to go up to nearly 10,000 otherwise if it doesn't break it well I believe the trend will be down and this is my update for the 30th of May on Bitcoin I hope you enjoyed the video let me know if there's anything that you want me to discuss about because I, I love watching not only cryptocurrencies I, I'm, I keep looking for um, Apple and US dollar and yuan Chinese yuan so um, yeah please let me know if you didn't like the video let me know why I want to make a perfect content for you I'm not doing this for myself I'm doing it for you because that's way, the way I found success and I'm making money out of this thing and I want you to do as well have a good day bye bye